Welcome to Beauty Care Nail Care Services, Grade 9, Quarter 1. Our topic for today is about nail structure. Today's objectives are Number 1. Identify the nail structure and its conditions. Number 2. Describe the nail structure and its conditions. Let's have definition of terms. Structure is something that consists of parts connected together. Condition is the quality or state of appearance in regards to something. Translucent, clear, see-through. Horny means something made of a hard substance. Horny tissue is the outermost part of the skin consisting of dead cells. Blood vessel is a tube which carries blood throughout the body. Hollow means whole. Wavy ridges means bumpy or twisted. Pliable means easily bent or flexible. In addition to that, onycology is the study of nail, while onyx is the technical term for nail. Nail is a horny translucent plate that protects the tips of the fingers and toes. The characteristics of healthy nails are Number 1. Firm and flexible 2. Slightly pink in color 3. Surface is smooth curved and unspotted without any hollows or wavy ridges. Parts of the nail Nail body or nail plate is the visible portion of the nail that is attached to the nail bed. Free edge is the end portion of the nail plate which extends beyond the fingertip. Nail root Beginning of nail found at the base and is embedded underneath the skin. Structures beneath the nails. Nail bed. The skin upon which the nail body or nail plate rests. Matrix. Part of the nail bed which contains nerves and blood vessels. Lunula, half moon shape found at the base of the nail where the matrix connects with the nail bed. Structure surrounding the nail. Cuticle, the overlapping skin around the nail. A normal cuticle should be loose and pliable. Eponychium, cuticle extension at the base of the nail body which partly overlaps the lunula. Hyponychium, portion of the skin under the free edge of the nail. Nail walls, folds of the skin overlapping the sides of the nail. Nail grooves, are slits or tracks in the skin at the side of the nail. Mantle, deep fold of the skin in which the nail root is embedded. Let's have a quick review. Onycology is the study of the nail. Nail is a horny translucent plate that protects the tips of the fingers and toes. Nail body or nail plate, free edge, and nail root are parts of the nail. Nail bed, matrix, and lunula are structures beneath the nail. The structures surrounding the nail are cuticle, eponychium, hyponychium, nail walls, nail grooves, and mantle. Now, let's have a short quiz. Choose the letter of the right answer. Number 1. What is nail walls? A. The overlapping skin around the nail. B. Cuticle extension at the base of the nail body, which partly overlaps the lunula. C. 
folds of the skin overlapping the sides of the nail. The correct answer is letter C. Folds of the skin overlapping the sides of the nail. Number 2. What is on ecology? A. Easily bent or flexible? B. Is the study of nail? C. Is the technical term for the nail? The correct answer is letter B. Is the study of nail? Number 3. What is hyponychium? A. Deep fold of the skin in which the nail root is embedded. B. The overlapping skin around the nail. C. Portion of the skin under the free edge of the nail. is letter C. Portion of the skin under the free edge of the nail. Number 4. What is lunula? A. The skin upon which the nail body or nail plate rests. B. Part of the nail bed which contains nerves and blood vessels. C. Half moon shape found at the base of the nail where the matrix connects with the nail bed. is letter C. Half of the shape found at the base of the nail where the matrix connects with the nail bed. Number 5. What is free edge? A. Visible portion of the nail that is attached to the nail bed. B. End portion of the nail plate which extends beyond the fingertip. C. Beginning of the nail found at the base and is embedded underneath the skin. letter B. End portion of the nail plate which extends beyond the fingertip. So that ends our short quiz. Did you get the correct answers? If yes, congratulations! You did a great job. If no, watch again the video. So that ends our lesson. Thanks for watching!